Hello everyone and welcome back to Ordinary Adventures. We have never stayed at the Disneyland Hotel and today we are spending the night in the new Discovery Tower. We'll eat lunch at the new Palm Breeze Bar which has some casual yet sophisticated cocktails and food. We'll give you a tour of our duo studio room which might be the smallest room we've ever seen on Disney property. Not only that but we'll give you a tour of the deluxe studio, a one bedroom villa, and the biggest room that's offered on Disneyland property, the three bedroom grand villa we'll give you a full tour of this hotel including the pool area we'll have dinner at trader sam's and breakfast at tangaro terrace why don't you come with us on this adventure Believe it or not, but we've never actually stayed at the Disneyland Hotel. This is our first time pulling up, and they have some new Christmas decorations. Yes, it's so beautiful. I didn't know that there was gonna be a gigantic carpet that says Disneyland Hotel. It really makes for such a grand entrance, and there's a Mickey and Minnie statue that you can take your photo with, and it smells good. Like the smell coming out of the Disneyland Hotel. I know that sounds weird, but it's so pleasant. <laughs> And I feel like this is like a bucket list item for me. Like I've always wanted to stay yeah. here and I don't know what took us so long. And seeing all the like, decorations, I don't know. I'm just such in a Christmas mood because we're actually here during Christmas. I know, oh, it's so magical, it really is. Yeah. I wish we were staying more than one night, you know what I'm saying? I know. But it's okay. <laughs> so the lobby's decorated with all these beautiful white trees. And we checked in, it's not even 2 p.m., but they actually have our room available. I know, our room is ready. How fun is that? I was really not expecting it to be ready. Yeah, and when, when we pulled up for parking, the prices to park here are kind of insane. But I didn't realize if you're DVC paying with points, you don't pay for the parking. Yeah, nice, because it was very expensive. <laughs> so even though we could go to our room, it's 2 p.m. and we haven't eaten lunch yet. So we're gonna eat lunch at the new Palm Breeze Bar. Oh my god, I love this. On the way to the Discovery Tower, you are greeted by a little bit of pixie dust leading ah, you there. Yes, and then it leads to Duke Tink's little tap of pixie dust. I love that. It's so fun. At first I thought it, like somebody spilled something and I was like, oh, it's pixie dust. <laughs> okay, because the Discovery Tower is a DVC tower, it doesn't have its own check-in desk. Get a check-in at the main tower. But they do have like a little atrium area here where you can kind of hang out. It's very cozy, very like modern, mid-century modern. They have this fantastic mural on the wall featuring so many Disney animated classics. And then they also have the Discovery Den, which is kind of like a place where you can like sit down and work and hang out. I like all the touches of the Disney animation history and the cabinetry. And there's also a fireplace over there. I'm not sure how it works. It looks magical to me. That's the only way I can describe it. Disney magic. Yeah. But it seems like it would be a kind of chill place to hang out when you're wait, waiting for your room to open up or just, to, you know, have a coffee. So I love this chandelier. Is that what you, you would call it? It's yeah. this really cool light fixture that's supposedly kind of like the first scribbles before you turn something into animation. I feel that's, that's kind of interesting. I like that. I don't know if that's really what it's supposed to be, but that's what they told us. And... I like it. <laughs> a nice cast member named JD pointed out some hidden Mickeys. There's three of them right here. Right there. So the Palm Breeze Bar is the new bar located underneath the villas. They don't have a new restaurant. They just have a bar, but it does have food options. I think it's called Palm Breeze because there's palm trees and we're in the breezeway. So Palm Breeze. It's right next to the pool. And I like the colors here. They have like this uh, Mary Blair kind of aesthetic on the ceiling and on the side of the bar itself. I am already impressed with this place. The mural that they have over here is so cute. I want to take a million selfies with it. They have like a little galaxy's edge. They have the whole Disneyland park, but it's in like this cutesy, whimsical style. So since we're at the Palm Breeze Bar, it's fitting that we had to order ourselves some cocktails. And the one that I'm trying is the Strawberry Time Fizz. This is made with Tito's Vodka, Sinar, Strawberry Time Syrup, Lemon Juice, and Prosecco. And it is so Cute! I was like not expecting it to look this cute. I feel like so, like I've transported back in time and I'm in Palm Springs, like in the 60s? 
50s. Yeah. This kind of reminds me of like a strawberry mimosa. The thyme just gives it like an extra kick of earthiness flavor, but it's nice and bubbly because of that Prosecco in there and it goes down smooth. I'll give it a four and a half out of five. It's really good. And for my drink, I went with our server's recommendation and that's the Blue Bee's Knees. This is a botanist gin, lemon juice, organic honey, and blueberry wine. Ooh, sounds fancy. Honestly, sounds like nothing I would normally order, but that's what you get when you like go with the server's recommendation. She said this was great, so I'm trusting her. And if it isn't great, I'll drink it. <laughs> Just kidding. Ooh, very sweet. Really? Definitely taste that lemon. The dominant flavors are the lemon and the honey, so it almost tastes like you're ta like drinking like a honey lemon tea, Ooh. but you know, with alcohol. <laughs> I'll give it a four out of five. Wow. This is not nice. normally something I would get. And I just want to say, they are freshly making all these cocktails here. Not, nothing's pre-made. You can actually see like the pulp in there and everything. Mm. Very good. The menu looks so good. It was so hard to choose what we wanted to eat, but we ended up getting one of the appetizers and we got talked into getting the cheese fry poutine. And this has french fries, demi-glaze, cheese sauce, chive sour cream, and pimento. And our server told us that it was like a big portion, but I didn't really believe her. And then she brought it out and this is like the biggest thing of poutine I've ever seen in my entire life. It looks like a plate of nachos or something. It looks beautiful. Oh my gosh, I know. My mouth is watering. I think this is the cheese curds. At first I thought they were tater tots. This is unlike any poutine that I've ever had before. It is very cheesy, obviously because of that neon orange cheese sauce on top. And then the cheese curds are nice and deep fried little nuggets of extra goodness here. This is absolutely delicious. I'd give it like a four out of five. It's not like a traditional poutine, but it's freaking good, especially if you like cheese. For my meal, I ended up getting the charcuterie pizza. This is artisan cured prosciutto, pepperoni, sausage, and sun-dried tomato. Mm. I usually don't like get, getting things with sausage on it. I'm not a big sausage person. You're not a sausage connoisseur? No, but <laughs> I am a big meat connoisseur. So. <laughs> okay. it, it's a really good personal size meat lover's pizza. I'd actually say that's bigger than personal size. On the menu it said personal <laughs> size, but I think you could actually split this between two people. The sauce is really zesty. The crust is really crispy. It is a little floppy. I'd give this a four out of five Peters. I'd say this is one of the better pizzas in Disneyland Resort. We did the pizza challenge where we went all over Disneyland and Disney California Adventure to find the best pizza. Maybe we should go through the resorts in downtown Disney. I'm down. <laughs> Let's do it. I ordered the lump crab roll. This has tarragon and lemon aioli, fresh dill on a brioche bun. I love like these little pieces of herbs on there and then whatever <laughs> these red squirts are, these red dollops. So to me, this tastes like a combination of like a crab cake mixed with a lobster roll. The bread is obviously delicious. It has that like buttery crisp edges on there. And it almost kind of does taste just like an elevated tuna fish sandwich. It's so good. <laughs> it's kind of a small portion, so I'm happy that I also have the poutine to eat as well. Yeah. You have the option to get house-made chips or french fries or fruit. I got the house-made chips. They are very good. Four and a half out of five. So we've seen a bunch of people in the pool and it's December 23rd, so I thought the water would be cold, but it's like kind of lukewarm. Maybe we should try to go swimming. I brought my bathing suit just in case. We, we got to take advantage of this pool. Yeah. There's nobody in it. <laughs> they got a big pool over here just for the villas, and then they also have a hot tub, and then there's a Steamboat Willie splash pad. Oh my God, look at that. Oh my God, that is so cool. Okay, I think we got to go in. Let's go digest a little bit, go look at our room, and then maybe put on our bathing suits. I finally found it, the thing I've been looking forward to the most. I found the, the active diarrhea sign. Persons having currently active diarrhea or have had active diarrhea within the previous 14 days shall not be allowed to enter the pool water. Just in case, <laughs> I was like wondering where the sign was, I found it. They do have a fitness center that is open 24 hours a day. There's a lot more workout equipment in here than I thought. There's weights, there's, I don't even know the correct terms. There's 
th running machines, but I think the coolest thing is there's a virtual trainer over here on the wall. I love that, it's so futuristic. Yeah, and they also have some cold towels so you can wipe off. I tell that I don't work out, I'm like, there's running machine, like I have no idea what they're called. <laughs> there's a lot of different they're stuff, called, I like it. They're called treadmills. Yeah, treadmill. oh my god, duh. I was actually kind of surprised at how much stuff is in here because I thought all the stuff would be in the main tower. Yeah. cruise ship. I don't know why. I think it's like the, the artwork and stuff, but I love these hallways, how they're kind of curved. It look, almost looks like the Disney D. Yeah, I think that's the, that's the point. It's so cool. It's like so subtle and they really went out of their way to make it interesting. You know what I mean? Yeah, I like all the characters on the wall here. Oh yeah, let's name them already. I'm just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> but we are in room 0728. We're right by the elevators. We're in a duo studio. Welcome home. <gasps> Listen to the music. Oh, this is cute. Okay. Nice. It smells new. It's wow. a tiny guy. Wow. Yeah. Okay, so it's Jungle Book themed, I guess. Yeah, I'm not sure if this place is for everybody because it's super small, but you're staying on Disney this property. This is definitely a unique room and a room that we have, a room type that we have never stayed in before, so I'm excited. Welcome to our Duo Studio Standard Room. We spent 25 points. It is the day before Christmas, so I don't know if that is that a lot of points. I mean, it's equivalent for us for like $350, but it sells for like $750 on the website. Wow. I am already impressed by this room. I know that it's like a tiny space, but it looks really cool. First off, we're gonna start in the bathroom because you know that's our favorite spot in any hotel room. And I gotta say, first impressions, it looks huge. Like I was expecting it to be very small. Look at this shower. This is like a bigger shower than we have at home. And there's even a bench in there. Wow. Yeah, I like the green and gray oh, details. Has a rainfall, and guess what it has? H2O, or, or it's, actually- It's no longer called H2O. Now it's just called Disneyland Hotel Body Wash. Yeah. But I can smell it, and it smells good. Wow, this is nice. So we have a beautiful painting here. Let's get it over with. Let's do the flush test. Not bad. I'd give that a five out of five. I'd give that a five out of five too. Here is the little vanity area with the sink. There's some body lotion, a bunch of towels, a bunch of mirrors. So many mirrors. Of course, it comes with a hair dryer. What is this? A shower cap? Ooh, fancy. I gotta say, I like the sink and how it's like a bowl sink. It's very modern. Yeah. And look at the details on the mirror. Elegant. Yeah. It's very like echoey in here. Echo, welcome back to Ordin- I feel like I'm yelling. Am I yelling? Ordinary Adventure! Oh look, it's the same Mary Blair like pattern on the floor. Oh my god, this is so nice. I don't know why, but I was not expecting the bathroom to be this big. Love it. Let's look at the rest of the room. Of course we have a nice Keurig over here with instructions in case you've never <laughs> used one before. <laughs> I love how many K-cups they give you. I'm gonna take all these home with me. Just kidding. Comes with two sugars, two sugar substitutes, two liquid creamers, and two stirrers. So I guess this is for your coffee. Wow, it's really fancy though. Like yeah. it comes in this little box. Look at this backsplash to the TV. It's wow. 3D. I'm truly amazed by this room. Yeah, we got some drawers here to, to put all your stuff. I'm guessing there's nothing in them, right? Yeah. And then right next to that is the mini fridge, which is pretty big actually. Nice pen, pad of paper, in-room dining. Ooh. What you could get in room dining. What can you get? A lot of stuff. I thought it was just gonna be the same menu as the place that we ate at earlier. Oh my god. We don't have enough time here, Peter. You know what? I forgot since this is a DVC room, there's actually a microwave as well. What's under here? Trash can? Oh, plates! Cups, plates, silverware. They got you covered. Yeah. They even have like a, a can opener down yeah, there. Nice. Wow. Look at this little chair. How cute is this? It could fit like one and a half people. I could sit here, you could sit there, we could look at each other. And let's see what's inside this closet, right next to the mirror. <laughs> it's me. It's actually a full-size closet. I initially thought it was just a full-length mirror, 
but Look there's the backsplash. Yeah, there. it's so pretty. Yeah. They have extra blankets up here. Of course, tons of hangers. And what I love is you close it back up, and then you could just slide this guy over, and you have even more space, I guess. You have an ironing board, a steam iron. That's pretty cool. They made good use of space. They here. did. I was like, where's the closet? It's right here. It's hidden in plain sight. <laughs> I'm actually surprised that we even found it. But look at this rug. Yeah, this rug is so pretty. Bare, I like the colors. The bare necessities of life will come to you. <laughs> like the song. And you might be thinking to yourself, Kitra, where's the bed? Guess what? The bed is this. This is the bed. It's a bed and a couch. It's very easy. Look at the background. That's so pretty. I like that a lot. Wow. This room is awesome. I feel like it's perfect for us because we're just two people. We don't have kids. We're not here with like a big group of people. This is like, we don't need any more than this. This is so cool. And we even have a balcony, which is awesome. Just in case you're wondering, there is a USB and a USB-C on either side of the bed. So not all duo studios have a balcony, but we were lucky to have one. I think yeah, like the standard. Oh, look at this beautiful view. A beautiful view of uh yeah what are we looking at here oh no oh look at that whatever those are the air conditioners or something yeah <laughs> okay we don't really got a beautiful view you but you see the downtown disney parking lot you can see some palm trees in the background hey i'm just glad to have a patio i know it sounds like i'm making fun but i'm not this is a huge patio we have to i have to drink my coffee out here tomorrow morning yeah with all those uh air conditioners yeah, running all this, like ambient noise in the background Ugh. So relaxing. We realized in the bathroom, if you push this button, it turns on some beauty lights. I think this room is great for like one or two people. The only thing I'm kind of worried about is the bed, because I've heard that the Murphy beds here might be a little bit firm, but we'll, we'll report back tomorrow. And now I'd like to thank Upside for sponsoring this portion of today's video. Every year we pledge to save more and spend less, but how are we supposed to do that when we have to pay inflated prices for essentials like gas and groceries? It's not like you could cut groceries out of your budget. But you can get cash back with them from Upside. Upside is a must have app for anyone who buys gas, groceries, or dines out. So basically everyone? I mean basically, except for our dogs, Pixel and Gizmo. And we all know that Pixel makes free gas. She farts a lot. I get it. <laughs> Today we're having lunch at one of our favorite spots, Bao Dim Sum. Their steamed barbecue pork buns are to die for. Upside allows you to get cash back when you shop, eat, or get gas. You open the app and it will show you all the places in your area that will offer cash back. Currently we get 11% cash back from Upside when we eat at Bao. You claim the offer, eat your buns, and within days you'll have your cash back. And the best part is, is you can cash out anytime to your bank account, to PayPal, or to an e-gift card. To get started, download the free Upside app in the App Store or the Google Play Store. And use code ORDINARY to get an extra 25 cents back on every gallon on your first tank of gas. Upside users are earning hundreds of dollars a year. Don't miss that. And now, back to our adventure. So right now we're gonna get a tour of the deluxe studio, which is a little bit bigger. Let's check it out. Ooh, I feel like our bathrooms are pretty much the same size. They have a private just, toilet. Yeah, they have a private toilet. Oh my God, look at the headboard, it lights up. That's cool. They get a real bed and a pull out bed. Yeah. Oh nice. wow. Oh my God, this is so cute. I love the view out here. You can see Mission Breakout. Look, you could see the Grand Californian. This room's Princess and the Frog themed. Yes. But kind of the same color scheme as the other one. I feel like the vibes are similar. Oh, look yes. at the rug. <gasps> oh, it's with the rug. It says blue skies and sunshine. I like it. The next time I'll have to stay in this one. I feel like ours is perfect for the two of us. Yeah. Oh my gosh. What is this How one? cute. It has baby Tiana. Oh, that is cute. So this one has a sink. We don't have that. And then I think it has some plates and stuff up here. Oh, a toaster. Whoa, they get a toaster. Wow. <laughs> some utensils, cups. Yeah. Oh. Hey, we, we have a microwave. One thing that's interesting is it seems like it's like the same size closet but I noticed some of Tiana's clothes in there. Oh, and they have like a little serving tray and a little storage down there. We don't have that either. And the backsplash here has a crown for Princess and the Frog. We're also gonna take a look at the one bedroom. This one I believe has like a washer and dryer in it. Let's check it out. 
Oh, oh wow. Right, right there Dang. when you walk in. Okay. What? This is nice for families. <laughs> yeah, this one has a washer and dryer. Has, oh my god, this is like a, an apartment. Oh my wow. god. Look at this. There's like a full kitchen and a stove. We're brand new DVC members, so we haven't really like, we've only yeah. stayed in the smaller rooms. This is, this is nice. This is... I was not expecting this for some reason. There's wow. like a full dining room table. You could have like Christmas dinner right here. Look at the art on the wall, the backsplash. How pretty. Oh, is this a, one of those little like treadmill bits? Yep. We have the Firefly from Princess and the Frog. Look at him up there. You get a view of Trader Sam's in the pool. See, this is this is how they sell DVC. They bring you into a unit like this. This is nice. And there's two more steps bigger than this. Honey. Yeah. Wow. We we're fine. We have a view of air conditioners. <laughs> yeah, our view is of like the downtown Disney parking lot and like the industrial size. Like, yeah, yeah. It's it's beautiful. There's palm trees in the background. It's nice. But I mean, dang, look at the monorail pool. Not only is there a full-size stove, but there's a full dishwasher and their microwave, it is built in. Ours is just like a little separate one shoved in like a little drawer. This one, look at this. Yeah. So and cool. They, and they have a cabinet full of glasses. Oh my God, they have a Keurig slash coffee maker. You can make either one. You can make pods or you can make drip coffee. Oh my God, honey, Kiana is right behind you. This is awesome. <laughs> okay, so this first bathroom right here, I mean, not too big, right? But the thing I like about it is on the mirror. <gasps> oh, you have Lewis and the Firefly. Wow, the detail. Okay. I'm happy that we came to look at these rooms because we're never going to stay in a room like this. It is amazing, though. Yeah, this is incredible. Oh, my God. Not only is this room massive with, like, a king-size bed, wait until you see the bathroom. Holy <laughs> crap. This bathroom is bigger than our whole duo <laughs> studio. Is. Oh. What? Why are there so many different rooms? I guess there's a toilet, there's a shower, and then there's like a jacuzzi tub with swans. You get towel animals if you stay in this room. Wow, look at the tile work. <gasps> How pretty. Over here is the toilet. And you got some lily pads behind it. Behind this bed, we have Lewis playing his trumpet. So cool. Just so you know, we paid 25 for our duo studio, and this room is 54 because it's like a busy time, but on the lower end of things, it's 30, 30 which is almost as much as our room. <laughs> That's insane. We should have not stayed here during Christmas. <laughs> we could have stayed in a one bedroom. Look at the side. Lights, they're like lily pads. Oh wow, it's a full size fridge. I feel like this fridge is nicer than our fridge at home. It probably <laughs> it is. It really is, it's bigger. Look at how big that sink is. So we're back in a room, and our room looks a little bit. It looks great. It looks a little bit smaller than. It looks great, I love our room. You know, it's 60 something degrees outside, but we need to test out the pool. You said it was heated though. So I spoke with a cast member and she said that the pool was 77 degrees and then the hot tub was 102 degrees. It is a shame though because I think the monorail slides have closed, but we could just go in the normal pool, test it out. Maybe I could wear this in the pool. Would that be silly? <laughs> That'd be silly. For science, I mean, we have to test it, right? I love like the mid-century Palm Springs aesthetic over here. So they have a new pool over at the Discovery Tower at the Disneyland Villas. And the new pool is available to both people that are staying at Disneyland Hotel and also the villas. You gotta show your room key and then you get a wristband, kind of like they do at Elani. It seems like less people know about this pool. Maybe the guests over at Disneyland Hotel don't know about this pool. So it's a little quieter. And you know what? It's actually not that cold. Like I, I thought it was gonna be a lot colder or maybe I'm just telling, oh, I look orange in the sliding. So I'm excited to go in. Nobody else is, there's barely anyone else out here right now. One other thing I wanted to point out is right next to the pool is the garden view rooms. And these are basically a throwback to the bungalows that used to be here at Disneyland Hotel back in the day. And they have a patio out looking into the pool. And they're 
not that much more expensive than the studio that we're in. So, I don't know. Next time I feel like I want to stay in one of the, the garden views. I think it's because we're so used to going on cruises that I just expected the hot tub to be tiny, but this is a gigantic hot tub. Oh my god, it's so hot in here. It is. It feels so good. Oh my god. This is amazing. Just I want so you know. a hot tub this size at our house. Yeah, just so you know, no diving allowed. Why do they make these signs so huge? Does it say anywhere on that one about diarrhea? Uh, <laughs> I don't see diarrhea. Okay, we're good. It's funny, in the tower you can just see like lights from all the headboards. The themed head headboards. <laughs> They're lighting up every room. I noticed this wet menu by the hot tub and it's the poolside menu, which has a bunch of different stuff than the Palm Breeze bar that we were at. It has a nice drink menu, has beers and wine. And then of course it has some foods. It has some stuff that you could get over at the bar, but a lot of different stuff like chicken tenders, guacamole, and then I notice on the back here, churro bites. Oh yeah. I don't think we're allowed to eat the chicken tenders in the hot tub. I know you wanted to, Peter, but I think this is just for like dining by the pool. You're, you're not even allowed to drink in the pool. Yeah. You know how I know? Because we asked. Cause there's, well, there's also a sign oh, yeah. in. <laughs> but chicken tenders, mmm. I don't, I've never eaten chicken tenders in the pool. Yeah, in a hot, you told me they ate it in a hot tub, no, right? No, I did No. There's something to that degree. <laughs> Does that mean it's time to get out? I'm gonna get you. Yeah, I think you're, I'm almost done. <laughs> I'm almost a full prune. I was thinking about the Palm Breeze bar, and for me, it was like a four to five restaurant. But here at Disneyland Resort, on like a busy night, it's hard to find any restaurants that have like an opening in downtown Disney or even at the hotels. And I feel like this bar is kind of out of the way and people don't know about it. So until people find out, it might be a good option. Even though it's a little bit overpriced, it might be a good option for like, if you don't have dining reservations and you want like some good food. We just took a little bit of a rest and now we're gonna go grab some drinks and food down at Trader Sam's, one of our favorite places in all of the Disneyland Resort. I think everything on the menu at Trader Sam's is good, but the thing that we always get is the poo poo platter because it has the best items here including those chicken wings with the tagarachi aioli and also the long beans, the fried long beans. They did just recently add chicken tenders to the menu, uh, but I'm guessing those are the same chicken tenders that are sold around so the resort. So they're delicious? Is yeah. that what you're telling me? But I, w I wouldn't come to Trader Sam's for chicken tenders. I'd go on a cruise. And of course, Trader Sam's has an extensive tiki drink menu. There's so many items on here that I love, but during the holidays, they have some holiday specials. So I think I'm gonna get one of those. And the seasonal drink I got is called By the Fireside. This is Mount Gay Exo Rum, Dolan Dry Vermouth, Rumple Mints, Luxardo Apricot, and Allspice Dram. That's a whole lot of stuff. I don't know <laughs> what it means. I could tell when you were reading that you had no clue what you were saying. No, I probably pronounced something wrong. I apologize in advance. But the, the presentation of this was great because the server came over and like lit the cinnamon or whatever it is on fire and then put it into the drink while it was like still on, in a flame. So I'm sure it's gonna add like a smokiness to it. It's like an old fashioned, but it has that like pepperminty, cinnamon, spicy Christmas time. I mean, there's a reason why this is a Christmas drink. This is completely on my alley. I'm gonna give it a five out of five Peter. <laughs> this is delightful. This is not for everybody though. So if, if you like old fashions, get this. If you don't like old fashions, stay away. It kind of reminds me of like mouthwash, like peppermint mouthwash with like a hint of like alcohol. G give that back to me. Grandpa's old medicine, just mm. No. That's all you. I'm wondering how this tastes like peppermint when peppermint's not one of the ingredients. And it turns out Rumpel Mints is a German style liquor brand best known for its peppermint snobs. 
wow, it's 50% alcohol by volume. Yeah, it like burns your throat when you drink it in a good way. I love it. <laughs> we just saw Tinkerbell on the side of the DVC Villas. She like puts her pixie dust up the whole building. It was so cool. We asked one of the servers here and she said that it, it doesn't happen very often, maybe like once an hour, so hopefully we see it again. A must have item if you come here, you have to get the poo poo platter, it is our favorite thing. This has pork, gyoza, panko crusted long beans, macaroni salad, and a sweet and spicy chicken wings served with tagaroshi aioli. My favorite thing out of this poo poo platter, I love it all, it's all delicious, but I love these long beans. But I especially love the sauce that you dip it in. That's like the real star of the show here. And they give you a nice big helping of it. Oh my God, I don't know, this is like a secret sauce and it's so good. It's been so long since we've had this. So good and you're healthy because you're eating vegetables. I usually don't like green beans or long beans, but I like them in this form. And I'm, we already know this gets the Ordinary Adventure five out of five. This never fails. And my favorite item in the poo-poo platter is of course the wings. Although it looks like they gave us like only three wings. I feel I know, like- we're gonna have to fight over that last wing. I feel like they used to give more. Right? Are they cutting down? It's kind of like a sweet and sour sauce, so it like has like a sweet and tangy, but also a little spiciness. That might be coming from the tagarashi aioli, I'm not sure. But all of it comes together, and it's, this is like my favorite wing. Not just my favorite wing in Disney, but my favorite wing out of any place it's ever. so good. We need to learn how to make this at home. I'm sure they have like a copycat recipe online, but I don't trust us to, to make <laughs> one of those, so. Five out of five, ordinary drinker shot. For my drink, I got the Tiki La Casita. This has tequila, guava puree, pineapple juice, lime juice, orange bitters, a bunch of stuff. It looks beautiful. I don't think I've ever had it before, and I was craving a margarita. I know I'm at a tiki bar, but I wanted a margarita, and it's so pretty. Wow, it's very bitter orange. <laughs> this is interesting. If Kitra doesn't like something, she uses the word interesting. <laughs> My two words, I or my three words, I say, wow, if I really like it, this is so flavorful, or this is interesting. Those are the three, three <laughs> words in my vocabulary. Um, not my favorite, it's not bad. Any drink you're gonna get here is gonna be good. This one is a little too orange, bitter flavor for me, but you can taste the nice like tequila. There's like a hint of margarita in there. I was expecting it to be sweeter because of the guava. It's not bad, it's just, there's like way better drinks on the menu. I wanted Peter to try it because it'll give a classic Peter face. <laughs> Some of the rooms up in the DVC tower have Christmas trees and I was really confused and I wasn't sure if people were like bringing them from home, but apparently those are like the grand villas and if you call down to the front desk and request a Christmas tree, they will bring one to your room. Yeah, if you're paying that kind of money. The room we're staying in, I don't think they would give us one, but if you're, you know, if you're paying the big bucks for the big room. We should call them and ask for a Christmas tree. They'll yeah. bring us like one, like, what is that the called? Charlie Brown. <laughs> yeah, or like one like little like sprig yeah. from the thing. Sprig, is that a word? Yes. Yeah. yeah. We are just walking around the Disneyland Hotel and I noticed that you can meet Santa in here. I never knew that. For some reason I thought you could only meet him inside of the parks. He's turned in for the evening, so he's not here currently, but that's pretty cool. Yeah, but you can actually sit inside an ornament. I love this display of like all this old Mickey and Minnie memorabilia. Wow, I wish my collection was this cool. All this stuff is so awesome. I love it. I love that they have it preserved here, so you could look at it. Look at this concept art. You can tell it's real concept art because it says WED Enterprises, and it's of the castle. And look, there's like little booths. What happened to the booths? Look, it's me and you. They drew us even back then. They knew that one day... One day we'd be born. These vloggers that just come and vlog all about Disneyland. The reason why we came to this part of the hotel is we wanted to go into the gift shop, which is called Fantasia Shop. And, oh my god, they have this cool Play in the Park collection. I know, we haven't been to Disney in so long that I feel like all this merch is new. But, this is so cute. But I like that, Play in the Park. I know, I love the bag. Oh, I have too many lounge flies, but this is a good one. Yeah, the art style is very cool. I love the colors too. Look at Chippendale, it says must be this tall to ride and they can't, they're standing on each other's backs because they're just little guys. 
Why was why is that so cute? Look at Mickey's face riding the teacups. That's like me. He's like, mm, make it stop, Minnie. And she's just like, yeah. Oh, look at this. They actually have merchandise for the the villas? Wow. Interesting. The villas at Disneyland Hotel. And it kind of has that like Mary Blair style. Wow. They even have like ears. Look at that. That's kind of incredible. I love that they have all this merch just for the Disneyland Hotel. Like this cool glass that says Disneyland Hotel, the happiest stay on earth. I like that tagline. Yeah, they're not wrong. I mean, I'm loving it so far. Yeah. With a sweatshirt. I like that classic logo. Yeah. And they even have, is this like a refillable mug? Or no, it's just a Jervis. Look oh, at yeah. Mini on there. You can actually get that mural that was at the Palm Breeze Bar. I actually like that mural yeah, quite a bit. Yeah, that's really cool. And this one's inside. One thing that I like about this shop is it has all these like statues. Most of them are from Fantasia, but they remind me of like a 90s era Disney store where like Mickey is just like a little off. Do you know what I mean? So good. I hope they never update the shop. I'm actually surprised they haven't, but I, I, I hope they don't. Oh my God, Disney, please do guard this, treasure this with your life. <laughs> never change it, please. I'm begging you. Yes, we need that. <laughs> weird looking Mickey over there. Yes! It's the next day and unfortunately we're checking out and I was walking by the Frontierland Tower. And by the way, the other Disneyland Towers, the color scheme, the blue color scheme does not go well with the Disneyland Villas, but I'm fine with it. But I was walking by the Frontierland Tower and the geyser was going off. And I think a lot of people probably don't know that there's a geyser and like a stream over here. So pro tip, if you're staying at the Disneyland Hotel, go check it out. There's a table there where you can like eat some food, hang out, and the geyser goes off. I'm not sure how often. This morning, we're heading over to Tangaroa Terrace for breakfast. The menu looks absolutely amazing. It's giving like Hawaiian Polynesian vibes. It was hard to choose what to eat because everything looks so good, but I decided to get the thick and fluffy Japanese pancakes, and these are fluffy vanilla pancakes topped with tropical fruit, star fruit, guava syrup, and bacon. How beautiful is this? So pretty. Yeah, when we were in Japan, we tried to get the Japanese pancakes. Yeah, we tried to get the Japanese fluffy pancakes and we failed. So I'm hoping this is the next best thing. And I love that it has like tropical, like Hawaiian kind of flavors. I love the silverware here. These are plastic, but like they almost look real. <laughs> How do they even make them that fluffy? I want to make them like jiggle. Oh yeah. Get it. Does that look cool? This is instantly a five out of five Ordinary Adventure Star contender. It's so fruity and delicious, but the pancakes themselves melt in your mouth. They're like little pillows, little clouds. And it's better than just having like syrup on top. You have this wonderful fruit. Peter, you gotta try this. It's not good, but the fruit, mmm. We need to learn how to make these fluffy Japanese pancakes. <laughs> and because it has fruit on it, it's obviously healthy. Obviously. I'm like normal pancakes. Yeah, <laughs> ordinary adventure. Yes. Stuff. Also, I just wanted to mention the bacon. Freaking perfect. For my breakfast, I ended up getting the Loco Moco burrito. This says steamed jasmine rice, chopped garlic beef patty, fried egg, gravy, crunchy fried onions, furikake, and served with salsa roja. And our friend Lisa said to get extra gravy, so we got some extra gravy. So when we were in Hawaii, we had the Locomoco there. Kitra loved it. I just liked it. But I can tell you the smell coming off this. It smells so good. Okay, here we go. I think that was an unfair bite, even though it was good. We gotta dip it in the gravy. Oh, yeah. I lost some there. It's a Locomoco in a breakfast burrito, and it is incredible. I think what makes it for me is the garlic beef patty. But all the flavors just go so well together. But yes, get it with the extra of the gravy, because that gravy, like, you know, takes it up from like a, a four and a half out of five to a five out of five. Oh, I gotta try it. I honestly don't know what's better, this or the pancakes. I feel like the pro move is like, do what we did and order both, and then like, you can have a little bit of this, a little bit of that, sweet, and then like, savory. Is this the best breakfast on Disneyland property? It might be. I feel like it might be. I mean, obviously the Mickey waffle is iconic. And the, Disneyland has a lot of good breakfast food, but you gotta try this. I like the brunch over at Lamplight Lounge. Oh, you're right. Well, this this, is, is, a, this like, is a new contender. So final thoughts on the Disneyland villas. 
I know I was joking that the room was small. That didn't bother me at all. But I will say that the Murphy bed, very stiff. Not as stiff as the beds in Japan, <laughs> but I did not enjoy the bed. I would much prefer that to be like a secondary bed, like in the one bedroom villa. So I think if we came here again, we might stay at like one of the deluxe studios, which has like a normal bed. But I love the resort. I agree with you. The bed wasn't the best. But I will say the shower and the bathroom were awesome. Great water pressure, lots of room. Everything else about the room I feel was great. It's just, you know, the bed was a little awkward and uncomfortable. Yeah. <laughs> I will say because the room is small that we usually like to have our suitcases laid out and there wasn't really much room to do that here. Yeah, we kind of had to like shimmy around them, but it was yeah. fine. If we were there for like a week, it might be annoying, but yeah. a few nights, I, it wouldn't bother me. This is a fine room if you're looking to just like spend all your time in the parks and go there to sleep. Although, if you want a good mattress, maybe <laughs> go for the one with the good mattress. <laughs> so the coolest thing just happened. I ran into a person that is staying in the three bedroom villa here, and he offered to let me film a tour of it. So you're about to see footage from the three bedroom villa and oh my God, it's incredible. Holy crap. This is amazing. Did they give you those stockings or you brought them? We brought them and huh. we put the lights out on that couch. Wow. Oh my God, this kitchen. This is like a, this is better than my kitchen at home. <laughs> And you got, yeah, this dining room is insane. Oh my God. Wow. Wow. Staying in a three bedroom villa must be nice. Look at this place. It's like a little fireplace. So this is the master suite. Let's see. Apparently it's themed after Bambi. Oh my God. Oh. M G. And then you have your own entrance to the patio. I'm sure you could watch the fireworks from here. Look at the bathroom. This is... It looks like it's accessible too. Look at the tile work over here. I'm going upstairs, there's a spiral staircase. There's a little bit of pixie dust, a little bit of magic. Oh, look at this. Wow. Look at the light feature up there. Oh, so this is the frozen room. This is nice. Wow. So you got two beds, a couch, and then a nice little bathroom. This would be very nice for a big family or if you had a group of friends. I like the Moana touches. They even have Little art in the bathroom. View from here is incredible. You can literally see Mission Breakout. Have you watched the fireworks from here? Yeah. Yeah. Thank you very much to Kevin in London for letting us explore it. And London actually sent me some footage of what the fireworks look like from the villa suite. And <laughs> God, I'd love to stay there one day, but I'm not sure if we'd ever have that many points. Incredible. I'm sad that we only had one night here, but I had a magical time. If you want to see the last time we were at Trader Sam's and drinking all the drinks, put the video right over there. I want to say thank you to some of our Patreons. That includes Lisa, Angela, and Michelangelo. Thank you guys so much. Thanks for watching, guys. We'll see you on, on the next, next adventure. adventure.